Hey there everyone, Hitesh here. And in this video, we're going to work through with the, the update operation. So in case you remember from the last video, we are going through with the CRUD operations and we have done a pretty good progress and we have understood a bit more sidebars as well about uh, empty and all of that. I'm not gonna do that again uh, because it would be just a repetition. You can find out about all these empty objects and update and all the objects not coming in and you can do all those checks up here. Now let's go ahead and work on with the update operation. So we're gonna say update uh, one course. And just like always, we're gonna go through like this and copy paste some of the operations. Hopefully there's no typo in that because I'm copy pasting all of them. Now let's see how this action plan is going on. Now in case of update, uh, the couple of questions that obviously should come up in your mind, what is that one course, what should I update? So obviously that can be easily identified by having a unique course ID. So that is the one thing. The second thing is I need all those values that should be updated. So during the update operation, usually what happens is uh, you resend all the values uh, regardless of what that value was filled in or not. So this is a regular operation. Now, since we are not in the database, we don't have the liberty of going on and say uh, find by ID and update or similar operations in the MySQL. Uh, we need to go through with the way that how we're going to accomplish this. First, we're going to loop through all the values. And once we hit the value, which is given us as an ID, then we are going to just take that value, slice off that, because remember, this is an array or a slice uh, of having different values. We're going to just remove that value. And since we have that ID already in our params, we're going to just inject that value. So sounds really simple. And for this, we are going to take advantage of the my slices video, which we have worked through in like a lot of time ago. And in case you remember this special part where we talked about this exact operation ahead, that we have a string and we have a lot of values inside the string. And I want to remove the specific index, which is index two. I can use this operation of remaking a slice having the index value, so first part, and then moving ahead, index plus one, and we go ahead and take rest of the values. So this is how we remove it. We're gonna take advantage of this one up here. So first is the basics. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just grab all of this value. I don't want to grab all these two because I think that is too much for copy paste. You can go ahead and work on with that. So we're gonna go ahead. Now let's grab the action plan. So how we're gonna first, uh, the first thing first is first, just go ahead and grab ID from request. I'm gonna just say rec for request, you get the idea. So this should be fairly simple to work with that. We have already worked with that. We go ahead and call this one as params. Params is gonna come up from, we use the mux, and mux gives us the access to wars, and this is all gonna be grabbed from the request. Okay, now so far so good. I have all the ID, remember again, reiterating that somebody needs to give me the ID that what is that course that I should update and also from the body itself I will be able to grab all the values in the JSON format so this time two values are coming in one is from the request parameters from the URL itself and another one inside the body so we've already seen that how we can grab the value from the body itself okay so the plan is really simple let's go ahead and work with that first we're going to loop through the value and once we get the ID, so once we hit that ID, we need to go ahead and remove that value from the index. So once we hit the ID, we go ahead and work on with the remove operation. And then we go ahead and work on with that add operation again. So we need to add the value again back in the courses, but this time the add is going to be happening. Add with my ID. What is my ID here? This is exactly the ID that we are getting in the param. So this param ID is getting used two times. Once here, the ID to find that exact value and the same ID is again being used while doing the add operation. So I have written it really, really short, uh, but I hope you get the idea. First loop through that, stop at the place where you find the ID, remove that value, add the same value again with the same ID. So pretty simple plan. Okay, let's go ahead and do that one by one. First is loop through that. So for looping, this time I do care about index because I'll be using that. And I do have a course and that is gonna be coming up from range operation that I'm gonna be performing on the courses and there we go. Okay, so the first part is done, the looping part is done. Now I want to use this ID to match that what is the course that you want to update. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that if the course has this uh, course ID, if that matches with whatever the value you have provided me, so in the params, use this as ID. And again, we'll talk about this 
uh, string ID uh, when we will talk about the parameters, not the parameters, the routing, the slashes and all of that. So you get the idea of that. Okay. So the second part is also done. We have looped through, we have found the ID. Now the next operation is we are going to go ahead and remove this value. So how the remove will happen? Again, we are going to take advantage of this exact situation up here. In fact, I can go ahead and I'll not copy that. I'll just write it again. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is let's have this courses, courses, and this courses is going to be appended. And remember, once we have hit this exact value, that means I do have an access of that particular index in this loop, this iteration of the loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that, hey, I want to slice it off. So I don't have a initial value, just go ahead and keep on doing that till you hit the index. And the second part of this slice is going to be again, going like this. So we'll have this courses. And in this case, I want to go ahead and say index plus one so that that particular index is omitted. And I don't have the last value. And since uh, this is a variadic operation, so I need to go ahead and use the triple dots up here. Pretty simple. And yes, this is exactly same as we discussed up here. This is so much of a common operation that I told you in advance that, yeah, this is kind of a thing we do that. Okay, now this is all done. The second uh, thing is done. We have found the ID, we have removed that. Now again, we want to add a new value based on the ID. So I need to grab two things. The ID, which I already have in the params, but I don't have the values to add. So I need to grab that from the body, the request body. Let's go ahead and grab that. This time the JSON data is coming to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and decode that. So I'm gonna go ahead and say JSON and I'll use the new decoder. You will grab the values from the body. So request.body and you will be decoding that through a reference. The reference that I'm gonna be passing you up is going to be uh, a value which I haven't yet created. So I need to create an object of this course, which will be a type of struct. So let's go ahead and do that up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, hey, go ahead and create a course, which will be a type of course, okay? And now I can pass on this reference so that you can destructure the value. Not destructure is not a correct word, decode the JSON based on this course, okay. Now obviously this might throw up some errors and it actually returns you a value, so we're gonna not worry about that, we'll just omit that entirely. And now, the next thing is, we need to have a unique ID. Remember, we are already generating a unique ID, but in this case, since this is an update operation, the ID should remain same, so we're gonna take advantage of this ID again. So let's go ahead and say, hey course, uh, you will have an ID, so that uh, course ID, and that ID you will grab this time from the params. And this is how you grab the ID. Rest of all the values, you have it. Okay, that's fine. We are just overwriting that one value. Even if the user is passing me on that ID, I'm overwriting that value. And rest of the stuff is all same. So I can go ahead and say, hey courses, if I can write that. Hey courses, we are going to use an append method. In the courses slice, go ahead and add this new course that we have got. Okay, that is super nice and easy. Now let's go ahead and craft a JSON response. So we're gonna say new encoder. Go ahead and use our writer and go ahead and send an encoded response. And we can say, hey, value updated nicely. We can send up a message or we can go ahead and send this course entirely. And uh, this is not required, but you can go ahead and return. That means the entire thing is just gone up here. Now this is the case where we were able to grab this and we were able to find this one. Uh, there can be a little bit above up here and there can be a simple to do that can come up here and say uh, that send send a response response when ID is not found. So we haven't taken care of that situation. Of course, we haven't taken care of many of situation uh, where ID is not found, where you don't find appropriate data, maybe body request is empty, maybe it is an empty uh, kind of a, these guys. So yeah. There are a lot of cases and situation, edge cases we haven't taken care. But again, we are taking a liberty of tutorial. You get the idea how this is being done. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this one. This was a little bit involved, uh, but I hope these kinds of comments helps you uh, to finalize the strategy that we are about to follow. This is always a good practice while learning this stuff. I always do that. If you are enjoying this, click up a photo, post me up on Instagram. This always makes me super happy, but no pressure. And let's go ahead and catch up in the next video. Thank you.